Following on from the previous video about Pydantic models, we have our base model here which takes name, age and completed training. So if you pass in something that doesn't look like this, it's going to be giving a value error. One thing we can do to extend the validation is do something called a field validator. And this gives us a chance to do some post initialization validation upon the fields we've passed. So say for example, we wanna check that the name only contains letters, we could use a field validator to make sure that this check happens. So to get this set up, we'll first say field validator, and then inside your parentheses here, you're gonna pass in the name of the field you want to check. So in this case, I want to be checking name. We then define a function, and this has to be named roughly as to what you want to check. So in this case, I just wanna check that this contains only letters. So I'll just say is alpha like this. We then take in one argument, v, and Pydantic is going to be passing name for v here. So we can just do this. Underneath, we could then write our check. So we could do something like if not v dot is alpha, like this here. This is a string method that returns true if everything inside the string purely comes from the alphabet. So we can say if that isn't the case, then go ahead and raise a value error. Just because of the screen size, I'll just say oops for the time being. But if that's not the case, we can just go ahead and return v. Now, let's bring all this up and try and run our code currently with John containing all letters. And we see no issues here at all. However, let's suppose John is passed in incorrectly and we pass in a zero instead of the O. We can now see here we get value error oops. So what's happening here is, is that this name is being passed into my field validator. And because of this line here, Pydantic is now gonna be raising a value error to say, yeah, something has gone wrong here. So this is just a nice simple way to do a bit of validation on the fields. And of course, there's no limit. You could do this for all the fields you want. And that's just one of the many benefits to using Pydantic for validating your models.